What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rob, and I'm back with another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Grizzle Home EV Charging Station. That's the charging station I decided to go with to charge my Mustang Mach E at home. Now, since moving in here, I was able to have a NEMA 14 by I think it's 50 uh, charging outlet placed in my garage to make it more convenient for me to charging. But since that time, I've never really bought a charging station. I've been using the one that was supplied to me uh, when I purchased my Mustang Mach-E. And uh, it's been pretty much working out for me uh, the entire time. But now I decided to upgrade and get me a charging station. So first off, there were a few problems with the builder and me coming together on the type of ampage that I need when uh, when he was building my home. Um, I think MI Homes, which is the company that was, uh, that built my home, uh, had a um, a limit to what they can do when it comes to doing in-home EV uh, setting up a the charging port and everything that I needed. So we kind of went back and forth. I was like, come on, man. You mean to tell me you can at least do the 50 amp, you know, on my fuse box and what have you. And, you know, we kind of went back and forth that that they weren't quite allowed. But if I wanted to do something in the aftermarket standpoint, meaning uh, hire my own electrician to come back in and just uh, change the 30 amp to a 50, then by all means, feel free. So I kind of weigh the cost of doing that to maybe researching and finding a charging station that will work with what they did. Now, uh, the home, when it was finally built, it did come with a 220 uh, 30 amp output. So uh, in my research, like I said, I found uh, the Grizzle EV charger and um, I realized that they can do uh, a preset on there where you can set the amount of amperage that you want all the way up to I think 40 amps and as uh, low as 16. So uh, real quick I'm going to go ahead and set up this screen. I'm going to do a little quick little pop-up for you and show you a little bit of information with the, uh, about the Grizzle EV Smart Home Charging Station. Now the Grizzle e Smart e, uh, EVS home station, smart EV station. It's a lot of words there, but um, it's a mass produced affordable EV charger in North America that can connect to any OCPP software, meaning this the software that's inside of the charging station is what they call open source, pretty similar to what Google is. Google is open source software, Android is open source, open source software, and they have open source software inside of the uh, smart charger allowing you to pick which app you would like to use to monitor your charging, set up your charging uh, appointments and schedules and all those type of things and, and pretty much picking something that you can customize more to your liking. Now, uh, it is uh, does have Wi-Fi smart connectivity. Uh, you can take control, like I said, of your home charging you can view your charging statistics, uh, set up a charging schedule, and participate in demand and response utility programs and control your charger remotely. Also, um, it does have Amazon Alexa built in, but it hasn't been activated yet. Uh, the Grizzle, people at Grizzle is actually working on their own personal app to work with it, to work with the charging station right now. Now, in the package, you do get a 24-foot uh, cable. You get the actual Grizzle uh, charging base station with a out charging output up to 10 kilowatts. It does have adjustable maximum current output. Like I said, 40 amp, 32, 24, and 16. Depending on what you have in your fuse box, you should charge 80% of your maximum output. Meaning if you have a 50 amp outlet, uh, 50 amp, you should 
pretty much charge at 40 amps. Uh, if you have 40, you should charge at 32 and so on 30 at 24. And if you have 20, you should charge, you should have it set at 16. And again, like I said, the people at Grizzle will set the adjustment for you before you take delivery of it. Uh, so it'll make it easier where it takes it out of your hand where you don't have to worry about doing it. Uh, it is durable, water, fire resistant, has the aluminum case, uh, over current, over voltage, ground fault, and over temperature protection. Very portable. So, uh, like I said, setting it up and uh, getting it out the box and doing everything was pretty simple. Uh, it took me pretty much around 20 minutes to get everything from the unboxing to getting it installed, plugging it up. Uh, the one advantage that I did have to my, uh, one thing, oh, one thing of note before it slips my mind. When you buy uh, a charging station, no matter who you may be out there, this is not just for the grizzle, but uh, pay attention to how the outlet is set up, meaning how the, the plug is set up. Some charging companies have their plugs set in one direction where your outlet may be faced in the opposite direction. And me having the way mine were set up, uh, I have the ability to just take off the face plate and I can twist it to fit whatever direction the plug from a charger may come in. I've noticed that in a lot of videos where depending on the company, the way they have their plug set up may make it harder for you to purchase their particular charging station. So be aware of um, if you haven't installed uh, a NEMA plug in your garage or where you're gonna uh, charge your EV at, uh, find out what EV you wanna, I mean, what charging station you wanna get. Then make sure the plug orientation will match your installation if you get what I'm saying. So be very aware of that. There, there is a weird thing. I've noticed that, that some of these uh, plugs uh, orient it in a different manner, depending on how you're getting the charge. Now on the back piece of the grizzle uh, plate, you will need an Allen wrench to attach one part of the plate to the back of the grizzle EV charging unit. And then what you would need to do is remove the center piece, which will be the piece that you will be placing on the wall where you will be actually attaching the Grizzle EV charger. Make sure that you place it in the proper manner where it's labeled to the top, knowing that, uh, you know, you match the holes up that's on the back of the plate and just make sure that uh, everything is orientated where it says top. Now you may notice right here, there's a little drop. You will have to account for that little drop when it comes to installation because it could mean the difference between your plug fitting or not fitting. So please pay attention to that little drop right there when it comes to installing it. Make sure you measure it and take into account that small little drop because there's not that much bend when it comes to uh, using this cable after you installed it so please take note of that now once you're sure that your plug will line up properly next up is the actual installation now what you would need to do is uh once you measure everything with the plate you want to i usually color it in where the drill marks will go so i would look to shade the whole of the actual plate over the color in part that i uh, use when I did my measurement. I started with the bottom drill hole and then once I got that established uh, I was able to use uh, a balancer to make sure that um, the actual plate was uh, perfectly aligned and uh, when I did that once I saw everything lined up perfectly uh, then I went ahead and just shot the last drill hole and I uh, after that it was pretty much easy peasy uh, once that plate is on it was pretty easy to just attach the grizzle right afterwards so um, the whole installation itself 
uh, literally took maybe 15, 20 minutes. If you have all the proper equipment, it really shouldn't take that long. The only thing you really need to take note of is just the measurement and where you want, you know, make sure that the whole, the plug will line up properly with the actual outlet so you won't have any problems in plugging because the last thing you want to do is be off by a couple of mils or a millimeter or two because that second hole will probably have interfered with the previous hole that you dri uh, may have drilled and then you're going to get into all kind of different problems so really be precise on where you're going to put that first drill shot at and it once you get that that particular piece lined up man it is real simple now i'm about to just go ahead and put the little security stick or whatever you want to call that through the back of it and secure that and then the last thing that was left to do was to shoot the actual holding piece for the actual charging uh and that that was pretty easy it took me you know another two minutes to shoot that and everything and um after that everything fit nicely the plug everything kind of just worked out for me um and now i got my new charging station all set up and ready to go and it pretty much worked out of the box without any type of issue so um once you get that done though just don't forget to download the app and um set everything up it's pretty self-explanatory now the total cost of the grizzle um my e smart chain uh charging station came in at 539 dollars to be exact that includes taxes and everything and delivery uh everything was included with that particular price uh it came in with a three-year warranty i uh, got it in black but you can get it in white and uh again uh you got to make sure you got the nema 14 and 50 outlet set up for this particular charger so um that pretty much does it for this video if you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any other questions please leave those down below other than that i'll catch everybody in the next video i'm out